Well, Your Excellency, um, it's hard to believe, I would imagine, this is actually going to be your, your fourth Timwall Day now. I, I don't know where the time's gone. It will be. We've just started the fourth year here. And each day uh, on Timwall Day, I'm reminded of how distinctive and how special the Isle of Man is. Because I don't know about you, I can't think of many other nations, if any, where people gather one day a year for an open air session of Parliament in which all the laws of the previous 12 months are summarized in two languages and that this happens in rain, sun or wind, whatever happened, no one's, no one's spared uh, the elements at all and everyone is there, all the, all the authorities are there, not just the MHKs, men, men who have the keys, the members of the Legislative Council, uh, but also the captains of the parish and all the parish commissioners, the leaders themselves and the church leaders and everybody you can think of. And uh, there we are, we do all of this, and it's a public holiday as well, so that everyone can enjoy it, they can watch it or not, and they can do something else to celebrate Tim World Day. And for me, it illustrates really um, the way that the Isle of Man is different, it's distinctive. This is probably the day, Tim World Day, when you see it most vividly, but I think we see it lots of other times as well, in lots of areas of activity. Um, I could mention a string of them, but just to single out two areas of activity where I think the Isle of Man is distinctive, different, and produces far more, does far more, achieves far more than any community of 85,000 people uh, that somewhere else in the British Isles. 85,000 people in England or Scotland would be a large town, small city. And what, could they do what the Isle of Man does? I don't think so. Let's take uh, just music and sports, for example. Now, the music here, you've got um, a string of brass bands. I was in Laxey not long ago, and there were five brass bands playing simultaneously that afternoon. Uh, not within earshot of each other, you just <laughs> moved around uh, Laxey Village and you came across a different brass band. And they're brass bands for the tiny tots, that, uh, the, the youngsters they taught on Saturday morning. They're, um, they're almost smaller than their instruments, and then they graduate up through. And that's a, a very strong presence in a traditional northern Britain, if you like, uh, activity. Uh, but then you've got uh, the serious uh, music of the orchestra, the symphony orchestra. How many places of 85,000 people elsewhere have a symphony orchestra and do one or two very good concerts each year? And not even to mention the guild where a, a week's worth of competition happens um, throughout the day, for six, seven days of, of, of the week. Uh, and the finest singers and finest orators, if you like, of the island are on display. And people still want to take part in that and do it and the standards are very high. Now you'd think that would be enough for music. No, 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 you've then got the musicals. And there are four or five amateur uh, musical groups here, amateur dramatists who specialize in musicals or straight drama. And the standard there, what we've seen in just over three years here, all of it could be on the West End stage. It's all good enough and some of it's better. Uh, and they do it and they have a tiny bit of professional help sometimes to start them, them off and doing it. And some of them don't even use that. And yet, and yet all these people, all these activities on the music side are done by people who are volunteering, next to no one is paid for it, and the standards are so high. But as I say, it's not just music. You go across to the, uh, see what people are doing in sports, and the same spirit of volunteering, people giving up a lot of time, a lot of energy and equipment, and they do it as second nature. So I suppose the island is most famous for its uh, cyclists and for its swimmers and for its gymnasts. I smiled. Uh, two years ago when they went off to the island games, I think it was on the Swedish island of Gotland then, and they all came round to Government House afterwards, and I sat on the sofa with two little gymnasts who were sisters, and I knew, knew they'd done very well, but they were very modest in the way that people are, and I said, you've got lots of gold medals, yes, how many? And I knew what the answer was, well, 10, 15 of them, I think it was, and then where are they? They're in my pocket. You wouldn't like to put them round your neck? Well, yeah, and they persuaded, but they weren't going to parade them around, mm. and there was... Um, uh, the whole of the Isle of Man team that had been at the Island Games in Gotland, and they'd swept the board. They'd come clear winners up on the medal table, and I will see what happens. I think tomorrow it starts in Gibraltar, uh, the, this year's mm -hmm. Island Games. I don't want to tempt fate, but I don't, I don't suppose they'll come back empty-handed from that. We'll have to, we'll have to see. So that's in that area of, of sport. But then you mm, don't even think about the motorised sport. I mean, the TT is famous, but motorised sport in the Isle of Man, it's not just the famous motorbike races at the beginning of June and the end of August. It's also the trail bikes through the plantations during the year and the rallying. And the rallying is very famous here and it's been of course all over. And the sort of special short rally I got involved recently a little bit in the hill climb for the classic oh, cars. Yes. And they, I mean, they're torn, those poor people who got these classic cars. About half of them from the island, half of them had come across from, uh, from the UK. Uh, between looking after their precious 
uh, joys and, and, and winning the race by pressing them very hard. Uh, so ac across the board, not and, and of course the rugby and the football, mm. cricket here, that, that, that you get the normal a activities here, those ones of um, gymnastic swimming and and cycling are probably more famous mm. because the people uh, go out and win international competitions. And I come back time and time again, where else would, would a population of this, uh, it's not small, but it's not big, a modest sized population, be able to produce what the Isle of Man does? I can't think of it anywhere. And so all the more reason for this day, 5th of July, each year, celebrating the Isle of Man, the difference. The Isle of Man is different, it's distinctive, and it's very special. And I feel very privileged to be here for the fourth year. You clearly have embraced Ireland life. What you've just told me encapsulates that, really. You said that you and Lady Gosden have been very welcomed, but you have played such a part and embraced the, the whole community spirit. As somebody who has had a, a distinguished career in public service, as someone who's travelled around the globe in, in many continents, you seem at ease with Ireland life. Is that uh, You seem to have a liking for Ireland life. Yes, I lived in uh, Ireland before and dealt with uh, work uh, visiting often other islands. And there's a slightly old-fashioned, very polite air about Ireland life. People don't um, set about in too much of a hurry. They take their time. There's a local phrase for it. There is. Uh, and, and that suits me. I, I, li I like that. People have got time for each other. People don't sound their horns just because someone's having a chat with their neighbour in the middle of the high street and, and nobody else can get yeah. through. Uh, in the car, so it'll be over in a minute or so, and then they, they can carry on their own way. Um, and so we knew we, that was the sort of place we were coming to. And at my stage in life, late 60s, um, I'm not seeking to cut about. I mean, if I ever had any illusions or delusions that I was going to influence the world, they're long since passed. And what I want to do now is the role of the Prime Minister, I mean, I represent the Queen, do, do the sort of things that people would like to see the Queen's representatives turn out for. And the most important one of the, of the year is today, Timber Bay. How do you believe that onlookers uh, look at Timber Bay? Because obviously there is a mix of, the, it's not a political day as such, but there's an element of that. But you have the pomp, you have the pageantry, you have the tradition, the, the heritage, the culture. But there's also an element of, of evol evolution as well. Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask all the people who are here at St John's and, and watching it today. Uh, I think people are proud of it. Uh, from talking to people. Uh, these days you can, uh, I'm told, you can even sit at home and, 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 um, and watch it online on your, um, on your computer so you don't have to uh, turn out venture out, venture at venture all, out yes, com yeah. completely. I, I, I think people are proud, but in a fairly sort of, mo the Isle of Man is a modest place. Uh, if I've any judge after just mm. over three years here, people are very modest about themselves and about the island, so they don't shout about it. Uh, uh, that's not the local the star, but I think people are quietly proud of what, the, what today what today does and what today represents. Politically, constitutionally, how important is it for the island to be seen on occasions like today as a, a player on the international stage, on the world stage, as a responsible jurisdiction? Well, I think it's important. It reminds people of the Isle of Man's autonomy. The Isle of Man is its own player. Uh, and we've known, uh, you know, the, the whole debate over Brexit has highlighted it. The Isle of Man is in a different position to the United Kingdom not inside the EU in the way that the United Kingdom is. It has some of the, the um, uh, uses some of the features of the EU and not others. And I have to remind people uh, across in the UK when they come visiting or when I'm over there that uh, there's not a, not a penny comes into the Isle of Man coffers from the UK. All the money is raised locally here on the basis of budgets that are agreed by a completely separately elected government, parliament here. And when people begin to understand that and, 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 and realise that that's the story, and then I think they can see that it's in the Isle of Man's own interest to be a thoroughly respectable, honest, uh, and transparent uh, jurisdiction, uh, which they are, and the financial service people I talk to um, say if there ever was a day when things were done under the counter, behind the screen, it's long since passed, no one's trying to do that now. The Isle of Man has genuine advantages over other places, or matches other places which are uh, financial centres uh, and uses those advantages uh, to convince people that this will be a long-term reliable home for their pensions or whatever it is. Uh, it, the reputation is important because the Isle of Man manages to get by on modest taxation. Uh, other places are always be suspicion. How come you can run, they say, you know, the five government secondary schools uh, uh, sitting alongside the one independent school and all the primary schools and keep the roads smooth enough for all the motorbikes twice a year and 
uh, run a health service that is, you know, uh, has the same challenges as elsewhere, but no greater ones probably uh, overall. How come you can do all of that while you know, taking less than a quarter of the gross economic product, if you like, of the island to do it? Well, I mean, sometimes I think that's a question for them to an answer. Um, why are they charging? Uh, you know, why, are they, why are they doing it on rather large budgets? But I really, really won't get into all of that on Tim all day. But it, the island does what it does um, very efficiently and without charging huge sums of money, and does it, does it well. And uh, the reputation is all important. And I think when people delve down and ask those sort of questions and get quite surprising answers, uh, then they begin to understand a bit better what the island is about, and they're not trying to trip anybody else up. Certainly, we hope the weather is with us today. Uh, I hope you and Lady Gosney have a, a super four till day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure we will. <laughs>